Hello, welcome to the next episode, Plug and Play Tactic at Gateshead with me, Magoobidge, Season 14, our seventh in the Premier League, and it's going well, going really, really well. We've won the Carabao Cup already. We're top of the Premier League by two points with a game in hand to Man United, and we're still in the FA Cup, so it's going really, really well. But, as usual with this game, when things are going well, you start to get injuries. Now... Gonzalo, my midfielder, is suspended. Diallo, my left back, is out with a pulled hamstring. And I've got five other players doubtful, including Pheasant, Bath, Stewart, Poku, four of my starting 11, in addition to Diallo and Gonzalo. Beginning to take its toil. And I've got Arsenal coming up, who are currently 7th. They're fighting for a place in Europe. And then Leicester, who are right behind them. So these, this arguably... Is going to be my biggest game, biggest week of the season so far, heading down towards May United and Tottenham coming up at the end of April. FA Cup quarter final, I've been drawn against Liverpool or Aston Villa. So it's getting big, it's getting big, big, big. So here we go. That's the FA Cup quarter final being played on the same night we're playing Arsenal. We're the favourites, but just look at my squad and the injuries now. So. Panico in for Martinez. Both my midfielders are out. So, with that, Kokov, you're going to come on and play. Fact. You know, that's fine. So, Lombard can play here, but you need to swap positions. You're more of a, uh, a playmaker. Chuck Wazy's injured. Kobianchi's fit. So, he comes in and plays up with Lopez. Um... What else have I got here? Poku, left winger's injured. I've got a knock. Gonzalo suspended, he can't play. Tomori's going to have to come in on the bench. I've got players that 91%. Martinez, Panico. Stewart is injured. I need a left winger. I look at my under 23s. Anybody about? Hurst, real good. He's good. He do eighteen year old. Look, still ocean agility, balance, crossing, dribbling. Right, like Hurst gets to go. So Hurst gonna have a debut to remember. We'll be good here if we can get a point. I'd say. That's it. That's the team. Romero, Cyrus, Talibo, Popov, Gurai. Back. F well, I say the back five, but obviously I've still got Diallo out injured. Hurst, Lombard, Kokov, Panico. Complete change in the midfield four. And up front, a change as well. Lopez and Combianchi. I think Lopez playing, I might have to pay five million. It's not going to be good. My Arsenal are going to be the favourites. Passionate. We are favourites for a reason. I've got faith in you. We're going to have a job on here. We might lose this game. Here we go. I'm expecting a difficult game, this one. If I win this, and I've still got a game in hand... On United. Tadebo's injured. They're going down like flies. My centre backs. Well, all my players. I'm going to end up with a, a whole team, first team that's injured. I just need to get through this game and the next one. If I can get a point here today, I'll be happy. Knowing the amount of players I've got out injured. But Arsenal come forward. Great challenge from Cyrus, but he gets away from it. It's the post. And we clear it. Done well to step in. Lombard. Lopez is through. In on goal. Forces a save from the goalkeeper. Corner to us. Cyrus to take it. Cross comes in. Headed away. Going to break. And they do. They've got man over. To get back in. Great save. Romero again. Or Romero. So my team is decimated currently. With Talibo adding to the list, that's about eight players out of my starting 11 that are not involved. Everything goes well and the game just does it to you. But Panico's done well to nick the ball back. Plays it inside, but played the wrong ball. Gerwright, captain today. Lombard, back to Gerwright. Looks for a run from Panico, but there's some confusion. They're not on the same wavelength. Comes to nothing. We're doing well currently. For the time being, we are. Arsenal's got a man over. Hernandez. Made a mess of it there, but we managed to hold on to the ball. 
22 minutes gone. We've got a corner. Cyrus to take it. Cleared by Arsenal. Kokiov to go right. Ritenauer. Panico. Panico down the right. Cross comes in. And there's the goal from Lopez. Bora Lopez scores his first goal of the season. What a strike that is on the volley. Great cross from Panico. Plays a nice little one to a written hour there. Takes a touch, gets the cross in. And there's, look at that, acrobatics from Lopez. And we're one up, surprisingly, at Arsenal. Jamal Moore. Panico. Great chance. Two shots blocked to make it two. An Arsenal break on the counter. Got players in and Panico does well to win a challenge. Really testing the strength of my squad now as we get to the nitty gritty of the season. Panico. Shoots, goes just wide. And well, Arsenal free kick into the box. Headed away. Still got it. Work the ball wide. Win it back. Doing well to push him backwards. We've won the ball back. Kobianchi's in. He's in on goal. Tackled last minute. Approaching half time. It's been a good first half from us. But highlight right on half time. Panico's done well to win it. Plays it inside. Kobianchi. All he had to do was score. And he's, the goalkeeper saved it. Gurai, Kobianchi, back to Gurai, back on side. Arsenal deal with it and clear it away. They've got an injury to their right back, Arsenal. Gurai drives forward down that right hand side to Panico. Panico, angle became too close. We're all over them. We're playing very well. United's winning. Things are going well. Capable of even better. Let's have a look at my team here. So currently, I've only got one, two, three, three players out of my regular starting 11 playing. That's outrageous. Eight reserves, but I do have my reserves set to play under 23s every week together. So they've, already, they've probably got an understanding with each other, but Arsenal's got early pressure. We clear away one of their corners. They're in now. Great save, Romero again. He's been great the last couple of weeks. Big, big saves. Let's get this ball away. We do. Do well. Kobe actually goes to collect it. Your rise on a 6.5 at right back currently. My youngster playing left wing. Not really involved at the minute. Panico. Horse is a good save. Keep the ball in. Lopez. Cyrus. Lombard. Kokiov. Panico comes inside, shoots, goes wide. The youngster's on a 6.7. He's doing well. Shout, demand more. Right, Gurai's on a 6.5. I'm going to try to take him off. I'm going to play Tamori at right back. Fresh legs. Veteran centre back, it comes up as. Demand more. Last 15 minutes. Can we hold on and get a great 1 0 win with a reserve team? Basically, five to go. Into injury time. We're winning 1-0. Three minutes of injury time. Is it it? It's done. I think it's done. I think we've won it. We've won the game. Arsenal scored. What's happened there? Disallowed. I'm <laughs> disallowed. Literally 93rd minute. Look at them. In the goalkeeper. Yeah, look. They hadn't touched it. Disallowed and we've won the game 1-0. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant performance. Gives me a chance to get some players back for Leicester. And we're back top. Two points above United with a game in hand. And we stretch our lead to third place to 14 points. But get this. We are now 16 points clear of Man City in fifth in the Champions League places. But we've got a game in hand. Excellent. So Tadebo's only out for a couple of days. That's fine. Send the assistant to the press conference. Right. Villa beat Liverpool. So we play Aston Villa. In a quarter final. Right. So Bora Lopez is one appearance away from us paying six million. 
can't play him. <laughs> I can't play him. I really can't play him. I have to play a kid up front. So guys, the fixtures have changed and the next game is Aston Villa FA Cup quarter final and then it's moved to Nottingham Forest. So the game against Leicester has now moved. We're playing uh, we're basically playing the end of April, Man United, Leicester and Tottenham, those three games in a bonus extended episode. Those three games in the second to last episode of this series and then the final two games of the season. So, the next game you're going to see is this one coming up. Aston Villa, FA Cup quarterfinal. So the injuries mount up. Popoff is now out. So, he's out for a week. Look at this. Bath, Tiello, Tadebo, Popoff, Poku, all out. My backup keeper's out for only one to two days. That's not a problem. We're going for a domestic treble here. We've already got the Carabao Cup. Going for the FA Cup and the Premier League. Right, well, Lopez can play, but I've got, he's going to cost me money. Everyone can virtually play. Apart from my forward. So here we go. This is the FA Cup. This is Aston Villa away. So Romero, Cyrus, Talibo, Rittenau, Aguirre, Panico, Gonzalo, Stuart, Martinez, Kobianchi and Pheasant. I'm going to put that Hurst up on the bench if I need him. That's the team. Aston Villa. They've just beaten Liverpool. This is a big, big game away at Villa Park. Team talk. Assertive. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do. And I've got faith. Here we go. This is Villa. FA Cup quarter final. One step closer. Villa's got the highlight. The first one. Header in. Well, I was going to say free kick in the box. Headed over. 15 gone. We've now got the highlight, but we're deep inside our half with the ball. Cyrus back up to Panico. Inside to Debo. Panico. Inside on his right foot. Gives it away, but Stuart picks the ball up and sees Martinez on the right hand side. Goes past the defender. Shoots. Straight to the goalkeeper. 22 minutes gone. Halfway through the first half. Let's demand more for my players. Nil nil. Half hour gone. Villa with a throw. Inside their half. Work the ball. Gone past the defender. Cyrus. Shot goes wide. That was unlucky for them. Bit of a worry for us. The only thing at the minute. Stewart's on a 6.5. We've got a highlight right on half time. And there's the breakthrough. And John Claire Tadebo, the centre back, is his third goal of the season. All headers from corners. And we've got a goal up. Go right. Takes the brilliant. Great corner. Great header from Tadebo. 1 0. Stewart's on a 6.5 today. So he's going to come out. Passionate, you, you've played well so far. There's room for improvement and more to come, of course. No changes, actually. I'm going to keep it as it is. See if he improves second half. Keep your on Stuart and Kobe Anchi. Stuart 6.5 and now Martinez and Gonzalo. My two midfielders have dropped. So, Kokov for Stuart, Lombard for Gonzalo. Written hours not having a good game. So Zureb comes in. Three changes. Demar more. Half hour to go. We're winning one nil. In the semi in the quarter final of the FA Cup. Having won the champ the Champions League. Having won the League Cup already, Carabao. Fifteen to go. Show me passion. We have a throw. Seventy nine minutes. Approaching the eightieth minute. Panico comes short for it. Cyrus plays it to Lombard, sees Panico, Kobe Anchi and he shoots just wide. Thought it was in. Five minutes to go, normal time. Villa, I've got a highlight. Now back to the goalkeeper. Plays the ball up forward. Cyrus comes up, wins the header. Villa, down the right hand side. Cross comes in, blocked. Cross comes in again, headed over from close range. We've got the highlight, 88 minutes. We've got the ball inside our own half. Go right, up to Martinez. Up to Connor Pheasant, who gives the ball away. And they're in. Logan's in, and he shoots straight at Romero. We've got another highlight. Three minutes of injury time to go. And we've scored, he's offside. Zureb's offside, Damon Zureb. New Maltese centre-back signed last summer. He will have a future here. was off 
two minutes of injury time to go and Villa have got a throw in the attacking area Cross is blocked first time and they've given it away to Lombard up to Pheasant who Martinez is through he had the option to pass it and he waited too long and Villa on the count and it goes past Easy's in great save Romero and then Zureb clears the ball away 15 seconds of added time to go Panico's done well Pheasant Kobianchi wins the throw that should be it and it is and we're through to the FA Cup semi-final brilliant performance excellent assistant can do that FA Cup semi-final now and that's at Wembley as well so more money to help my coffers which are now 55 million and with new contracts being signed I'm now nearly 300,000 over the wage budget per week which isn't good at all so schedule as I said next video is the special look at this run we're on four nine 14 games 14 wins on the spin we've got we're now playing Forest, Sheffield United and Bournemouth. We've got FA Cup final coming up. FA Cup semi. In fact, what I'll do then is, um, because we're through, I'm going to break this up. So I'm going to play Forest, Sheffield United and Bournemouth. I'm then going to face, play the FA Cup semi-final and Man United. Then Leicester and Tottenham and then Newcastle and Swansea. Plenty of videos. Hopefully what will be a domestic treble, but you never know. If you're enjoying it, smash the like button for me, then subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos come out at 6 o'clock every day. Great season so far. See you tomorrow.